Support for Makers, Women Who Make Southwest Florida, is provided by Clive Daniel Home, Shula's Steakhouse, the Centers for the Arts of Bonita Springs, and by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting. In Charlotte County, you know, there are no art museums, and there, there is no money f to take kids on field trips. Most of the kids in the county probably never even get to the Ringling Museum in Sarasota. It's that close, but that far away. So we thought, well, why don't we create more paintings, invite more artists to participate. We'll have a wonderful show, whichever world-famous artists we can come up with and all agree to. And these kids can come and see it, and we'll take it around to the schools. I began listening to classical music when I was a young child. I started college in 1967, which was really on the cusp of things changing for women. We were nurses or we were teachers. We weren't doctors, we weren't accountants. By the time I got out of college and entered the workforce, women were starting to go to medical school and they were becoming accountants. I got to use my art degree, I designed logos, I was a convention director for the clinical chemists and for counselors for Direct Mail Marketing Association, then went to the Florida Restaurant Association. It kind of awakened the family feeling of, gee, you know, the restaurant business, it's kind of is in my blood. I went to culinary school and I got a two-year food service degree. I decided I did not want to go back into food service. And I wanted to use my degree to some extent, and I didn't know what I was going to find in Port Charlotte. It is a small community, after all. Right in the classifieds, and there it was, um, Executive Director for the Arts and Humanities Council, which is the local arts agency for the county. We brought Preservation Hall Jazz Band there. We brought the Sarasota Opera. We brought the Southern Ballet Theater and then the, the coup d'etat, we brought Art Train, which is a real train, and it goes on real railroad tracks, and it gets parked for a week, and it was filled with art from NASA's art collection. It was really one of my happiest achievements, bringing Art Train. I started an awards program uh, to recognize people, organizations, and businesses who had contributed in outstanding ways to the arts in Charlotte County. We called it the Charlies, after Charlotte County. And after I had left the Arts and Humanities Council and was the executive director for the Visual Arts Center in Punta Gorda, I got one of the Charlies. And it was just a lovely surprise. And really, really, you're going to give me a Charlie? as Michelle Fallon Day, in honor and recognition of her 12 years of service as the Executive Director of the Visual Arts Center. I kind of designed my own job. It was mainly making sure that our educational program and exhibit programs worked well. We have more local art shows than any place in Southwest Florida, and probably in Florida for an art center of this size. We have all the things you, you could possibly want in a pottery studio. We have a wonderful jewelry art studio with all kinds of equipment. We do have excellent teachers in painting and drawing for children. We have a great summer arts camp for kids. We have three major galleries there that have a different show every month. So there's something like 20 to 24 shows every year. The Visual Arts Center is filled with talented, dedicated female artists. And I've watched women go from doing little flowers, watercolors, to these massive abstracts. Uh, it's wonderful to see, but they're still very tentative about how they price things. Oh, nobody's going to want my work. My mission has always been to make arts accessible to everybody and for everybody to realize that arts are in their everyday life and that I don't know why Americans have a kind of disdain for the art 
arts and culture when they make artistic decisions every day. It's not supposed to be hidden away and only in rich people's homes. It's for everybody and it's enjoyable and it really answers that need for creativity that almost everybody really does have.